Dash lights can be scary, but sometimes they seem more straightforward like a battery light. You might think you just need a new battery. However, it's usually caused by something else. When the battery light comes on, it's a common misperception that the battery is the problem, but the battery light actually represents the charging system malfunctioning. All batteries need to be charged, and how that is done is through the alternator. That's what maintains the charge of the battery. And you can take charge and get your alternator at 1AAuto.com. Along with your battery light on, some of the other symptoms you may notice is the vehicle having a hard time starting. Maybe it's cranking longer than normal or even not even starting at all. The headlights might be dimmer or even any of the gauge cluster lights flickering while you're driving. It's important that your battery is up to par. They generally only last three to five years and if they're on the weaker side, it's gonna put a lot of strain on the alternator and vice versa, the alternator being weak is gonna put a lot of strain on the battery. We're gonna test the alternator now. We're gonna start out with a voltmeter and you wanna put one lead on the positive end of the battery and the negative lead on the negative side. So here we have 11.97 volts, which ideally a battery just at rest in the vehicle should be around 12.6 volts. So this battery needs to be charged up at the very least let's start the vehicle, see if the alternator is charging the battery at all. With the vehicle running, the voltage only went down, so that's not a good sign. It should have went up to at least 13.5 volts to 14.6 volts somewhere in that range, and ours just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. So the engine and the charging system is only running off the battery, the alternator just not putting anything out. Another thing we wanted to test is whether the alternator itself is putting any voltage out. So we take the positive lead off the battery and put that on the lead on the alternator. This is gonna test if the wire between the alternator and the battery is good or if any of the connections are good or bad. The fact that the alternator wasn't putting out 13.5 volts when we did this means that that has nothing to do with the wiring. The alternator is still not putting out the correct voltage. You can also do that with the ground wire. There could be a ground issue and just touch the case of the alternator and if it came back to 13 0.5 volts or higher, then you would have had a problem with the ground between the engine and the battery. Check the belt, make sure the belt is tight. If it's slipping, that's gonna cause an issue. Or if the belt is missing, then normally that would cause other issues like you don't have power steering or the engine's gonna overheat because the water pump's not pumping properly, but that does happen, so definitely take a look at that. Now there is a possibility that your alternator is putting out 13.5 volts, but it's not putting out enough amperage. So if you have any of those other symptoms and you're checking it and it says 13.5 volts, what you can do is turn all your accessories on, turn your high beams on, your rear defrost, anything else that's electrical and see if there's significant drop. If there is, it might be something to do with the amperage of the alternator that's it's not putting out enough amperage. Another way people try to test the alternator is by hitting it with a hammer. Sometimes that brings it back to life up to 13.5 volts and that is actually only a temporary fix. It's kind of like hitting your starter when your starter won't work. It'll work for now, but eventually it's gonna stop again. Now we know the alternator is the fault, we're gonna replace it with a brand new one. There it goes. Come on, get above 13.5. There it is. That's what you want. All right, everything's working great. The alternator's been replaced and it's charging perfectly. And if you need parts for your vehicle, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Dash lights can be scary. <laughs> When the battery light comes on, it's a common misperception that the battery is the problem. When actually the battery light, along with the battery light, some of the other symptoms you may see. Now that we know the alternator is, which is the lights flickering. One more time. <laughs>